guys. It's about 4.30 in the morning. Um, December 21st. And it's been a couple of hours, two to three, since I uh, filmed and updated you guys last. The dogs have been being wild for that whole time. But anyways, so I went downstairs to make a cup of tea and just none of the advents were really calling to me so um a few days ago plum deluxe's december monthly tea for the herbal subscription came in and it's called so i decided to try this one instead so it's called mrs claus's treat a merry minty chocolate treat Green Rory Boss, Cocoa Nips, Peppermint, Corn Flour, Vanilla Essence. Hey, hey. Stop for a minute. Lily, Lily. Lily. James. Jamie, come here. Jamie, come here. Everyone else is being calm but you two. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. You come say hi to everybody. Since this is the last time they'll see you all, Harry. You're all hairy, my hairy boy. Yeah, it's my biggest boy. I think he must be 15 pounds, probably. Anyways, so, um, I brewed one cup of this in my smaller mug right here, and the other in the big one because I, um, I wanted to try it with and without milk. No, no. found someone else to play with her oh gosh it's crazy okay anyways they were being like wild like this on our bed and my husband's trying to sleep so I kicked them all out and closed the door so now they're in here so <laughs> sorry um but yeah because it has some chocolate in it I thought it might be nice with some milk so in the big one I brewed it without milk and in this one, I put some milk in here. I, so I haven't actually tried it without milk yet. But with the milk, it is really surprisingly good. And it's got a really different taste than anything I imagined. Yeah, I really don't know how to explain it, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so... I will, so later when that cools off, like in hours, I will take a sip of it and decide if I prefer it with or without milk. And then if I prefer it with milk, I can just add some milk to that. But, um, so anyway, so I thought I would come and open up today's teas, um, because I am just about done with this small cup. So I may decide to go downstairs and make a small cup of tea. We will see. You guys, are you dragging my yarn around? Okay, it's rescued. Okay, so, David's. Next year I'm thinking I'm only gonna do like one tea advent. Possibly two, but I'm really leaning towards just one. In part because I can't really drink teas without sugar and I need to cut down my sugars. So, <laughs> drink less tea, use less sugar. Okay, this one is called Magic Potion, and I don't remember the ingredients in here. I saw it in the back of the box, but because of its name, I've been kind of looking forward to this one. So, um, yeah, so I'm really excited to try this one. Oh, it smells so good. I will definitely need to finish what's in the big mug before I can brew this one because, um... This is big mug quantity. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this and I will brew it later today. Plum Deluxe Turmeric Chai Tea. I do not think this is for me. I'm not a turmeric fan. And I'm not really a chai fan, so. 
Um, yeah, next year I'm thinking I'm just going to do Plum Deluxe's herbal tea. They normally have only one advent, but they split it into two this year, so I got both because I was kind of curious. But I've tried only, like, two teas in the non-herbal. Hey, 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 hey! And so I think I'm just going to get the herbal one next year. Santa Blend Herbal Tea. Cozy up in some PJs by the Twinkling Lights. Green rooibos, red currant, beetroot, cinnamon, black leaves, lemongrass, mulva flower, blueberry essence. I mean, aside from that blueberry essence, this one sounds really good. Oh, good lord. Shh. Hey, no. They've seriously been wild like this for at least two hours. Um, oh my gosh, now I've got like another tree tea I want to try today that's big, big cup sized. From Martha, we have hot, spicy, cinnamon, organic black tea. Okay, so this, this, okay, this one is one that is the perfect size for my smaller cup. So this is one I might try in an hour, in about an hour. Um, black tea, cinnamon, organic flavors, nutmeg, and orange peel. That sounds like a nice kick in the morning. So I think I will try this one in a little bit on the smaller cup. And then I will have to decide between the David's and the Plum Deluxe Herbal. I'm leaning towards David's just because if I'm going to place an order with them, I think they ship from Canada. Um, but I would rather just place one order. So I want to try a couple more to make sure I have everything I want to try. Um, and I, I think I'm near the price limit for free shipping, so that's good. <laughs> um, anyways, I am going to go for now and I'm going to knit for a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to wake my husband up in, um, probably like three and a half, four hours. So I'm just going to spend a little alone time and I will catch up with you guys later. Bye. <laughs>
So what I've done is I've put bath water um, and some Dawn soap and then a little bit of the Vets Best Advanced Strength Flea and Tick Shampoo. And because um, the ticks seem to be dead from the pill I gave them yesterday, otherwise I would wash them with the soap, but instead I'm going to um, so I'll pour this water over them and then instead I will lather them in this itching medicated soap because they're itching really badly and so um, I think all the fleas on them are dead and then I'll give them another pill tonight so right now I really want to help their itching so that's what's gonna go on and I will kind of show you the process Okay, I got them all in the pool <laughs> bath and I feed them little pieces of this True Chews pepperoni style just to make the experience a little bit better and to um, reward them for good behavior. They came to me without me having to chase them down so they got a little treat. I'll now use a pitcher to pour the water over them. Ooh, that wasn't fun. But, um, yeah, d um, I'll do that now. So, at this point, I made sure to get some of the sudsies all over them and their bellies. The water is quite dirty because they were quite dirty from their walk. So, I'm going to drain the water and I'm going to use the shampoo on them. Um, they've been given another treat for being good. And at this point, you normally would have seen a bunch of black dots on them and that would have been the fleas so that well it is expensive that medicated pill really killed them so um that makes the whole process easier on everyone doesn't it george yeah it does so now i'm gonna give them the itching shampoo and hopefully that will help help them you're all being so good we're gonna get a nice treat Yes, we have a puppuccino when we're done. I should have given it to you before because um, now you're gonna be clean. <laughs> Poor little things. <laughs> They've all gotten the shampoo and we're just waiting a few minutes to let it fully sink in before we rinse them. So poor Georgie over there, he's, he has always hated baths. So, gonna get to rinsing them now, but hopefully this will be an okay experience, right, Rosie? Sweet little rose paws. I should probably wash your face and take care of your tear stains, but you're going to the groomer in two weeks, so they can take care of the tear stains this time. Anyways, okay. That's the next stop on the whole process. They have now all been... <laughs> Don't they look so pathetic? <laughs> the picture of tragedy. Rosie's not even eating her treat that I just gave her because she's so sad. Um, but they've now all been rinsed of the shampoo. And the final step is blow drying. We have them kind of swaddled in towels um, so that they will not get cold but also dry a bit before they each get their chance. So that is the next step and it's going much faster than I expected so that's good. Go to the groomer. There you go. Oh yeah. Okay. Who is good? I don't know if you guys were good, but here you go. Lily.